Welcome everyone and thank you for joining today's webinar on Modernize Your Inventory and Warehouse Management Digital Tools to Improve Inventory Accuracy. A few housekeeping items to go over. If you have questions, please type them into the Q&A box at any point during the webinar. We will try to answer as many questions as we can at the end. If we do not get to your question today, we will be providing answers by email tomorrow. This webinar will be recorded and we will share a copy of the recording by email. So with that being said, I'm going to start today's webinar by introducing our expert. Shree Karthik leads the solution team at Innovaptive and has over 15 years of experience implementing SAP supply chain for several large global organizations. He specializes in advising companies on best practices for mobility, and barcoding with integration to the SAP materials management and warehouse management modules. Shree, thank you for joining us today. We are looking forward to hearing your insights. So with that being said, I will hand it off to you to get started. Thank you, Ashley, and uh, hello, everyone, and I appreciate your participation in today's webinar. Let's kick off by looking at the agenda for today. Uh, we're going to start off by looking at some of the mobility trends that's impacting warehousing uh, and barcoding tools uh, in, in the enterprise space. We'll also take a look at uh, what are SAP's current offerings uh, for barcoding to integrate with uh, the SAP ECC and S4 HANA systems. Um, we'll introduce you to Innovaptive and talk to you about our M inventory solution and how it supports uh, SAP for barcoding and uh, mobile warehouse management. Uh, we'll also show you a brief demo uh, of what the application looks like and what some of the functionalities are uh, that can drive uh, productivity in the warehouses. Uh, and we'll look at a few case studies, um, and then you know we'll some wrap it up by uh, looking at you know what the key takeaways are and uh, share with you a few download links uh, where you can actually try the solution. Uh, and we'll spend a few minutes on uh, the Q and A. Um, so, kick off. Um, what's changing in the warehouse space when it comes to technology? Uh, the number one change the industry is experiencing is the changes to the device landscape. Um, one thing that we know is, uh, prime, you know, the current barcoding technology is primarily centered around Windows, um, and that is changing. Um, we're also seeing a big variation in the operating systems uh, for the technology being used for barcoding. Um, there's a consumerization of applications angle um, that's happening with you know, the prominence of Android and iOS um, in the consumer application space, and we'll see how that affects uh, how warehouse employees work. And we'll also look at kind of uh, what are the full feature application requirements um, that enterprises are starting to see um, in, in that space as well, right? Uh, so today's webinar is primarily centered around barcoding device technology and the user experience surrounding these barcoding solutions. Um, so yeah, Windows Mobile support is ending and that is, that is public news over the last uh, two years or so. Um, first, it was the end-of-life announcement for Windows CE and embedded handheld. Uh, next, Microsoft announced uh, the death of uh, Windows 10 uh, mobile, uh, where the updates and support is going to end in December this year. Um, so in short, what Microsoft is recommending um, their customers is to switch to iOS or Android devices as replacements, and this is, this is public knowledge um, in, in the industry. So the question is, you know, what does what that timeline look like for an enterprise? Uh, you know, a lot of uh, these deadlines have already passed. Um, so first it was in June of 2018 where Windows Embedded CE was uh, announced as end of life. In 2019, Windows Embedded Handheld end of life occurred. Um, in, in June of 2019, that is, um, and next year, um, in January 2020, the Windows Embedded Handheld 6.5 um, end of life happens, right? There's a lot of uh, third-party companies that offer extended support, 
but uh, that's that's not going to last long, and that is not you know uh, a foolproof plan for the future, right? Um, why is that? Because Microsoft is not going to give any new features. There aren't going to be any security updates, or there is no support for code issue resolution from Microsoft. Uh, so all in all, it's uh, uh, a pretty tough situation for enterprise customers uh, that are using uh, these traditional operating systems, right? So the shift is happening 2020 onwards. Um, the push for warehousing and, and barcoding applications is going to be centered around the Android and the iOS operating system. And the major device manufacturers in the market today, your uh, Honeywells, the Zebra, and, and Cognex, they're all accepting that change and they're moving towards that. Um, next, looking at consumerization of uh, these applications that are hitting the enterprise landscape, right? Uh, if you look at the right of the screen, what you see on top is you know, your traditional warehouse barcoding devices. And what you see below is the change that's coming, right? Um, what, what has consumerization of applications done, especially in the industrial uh, mobile solution space, right? It's, it's proliferation of the device choice. Uh, we're looking at larger screen sizes that can be used by your users today. Um, it's the use of touch screen, um, replacing the push button keypad. Uh, and end of the day, it's about giving your workers a similar experience to their own personal devices. Um, in 2015, you know, there was a research by VDC uh, where nearly half of the respondents said the user experience and user interface were the most important aspects of their enterprise mobile applications. And that trend is increasing. And if you did a research survey today, it would be more than probably 80%, right? Um, so they want to move to a larger screen size, touch, and then a consumer-centric operating experience, right? Uh, we'll focus on um, you know one of one of the 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 big discussions and the big uh, deliberations that's happening at at the warehouse floor, right? It's how do we replace keypads and key technology with touch screens? Um, and there's two schools of thought on this, right? You know, a lot of your traditional workers they prefer the the keys because they're, they're used to it. Um, they've been using it for over 10 or 15 years, and they're used to those, those keypads on um, those huge barcoding devices, right? But by moving to touch, you're increasing your display area per device. There's a three over 300% increase in, in display area in terms of you know, higher resolutions, so you can see a lot more information on a single screen, right? It also means with a larger screen, you're getting a flatter UI and increased productivity because fewer clicks um, to get the same work done, right? It also enables larger renderings and easy viewing. Um, so we know, you know, um, people in the warehouse, they don't want to see tiny fonts. They want to see larger fonts with, with more data. Uh, we're also, you know, the new devices are enabling portrait and landscape options. So, you know, flexibility on how you use the device in, in, in what scenario, right? And of course, right, uh, when it comes to the discussion of replacing keys for touch, there have been uh, several productivity studies done um, that show that, you know, in 2019 and beyond, the uh, touch input in, is showing comparable, if not better, productivity compared to keypads. And, and that is, you know, um, a significant point for a lot of um, enterprises to consider uh, for their newer barcoding and warehouse management applications. Right? Um, let's talk about what the market expectations are, right? What are your users, your consumers uh, of these applications uh, looking for and what are they demanding? They want higher performing applications, you know. People are uh, booking travel with, with their smartphones. They are banking with their smartphones, and they want you know, similar levels of performance and features on their uh, you know, warehouse applications as well. They want to use the camera capability, the scanning capability uh, using the camera to simplify 
uh, experiences like OCR, you know, where you, you can capture a picture and it automatically populates uh, your data based on the text of uh, what it scans, right? Um, the, real, the ability to work connected or disconnected um, and flexibility in, in what devices they're, they're choosing, right? Um, so it, when it comes to the IT teams, um, you know, the goal is to keep the applications flexible and easy to cover, uh, configure, so that meets the challenge of stability. The applications uh, to support, you know, capability of new devices and operating system and um, what IT teams are looking for is prepackaged um, and pre-built solutions that are easy to scale in the enterprise. Uh, so we've seen kind of a few elements um, in the industry that are changing, but what opportunity does this bring to the table uh, for IT organizations as well as for business teams, right? Um, if you see this survey, again, this was also done by VDC Research um, back in 2017. And at that time when they did the survey, about over 65% of respondents said, you know, what is driving change is not just the end of life of the operating system. That is one technical aspect, right? And, uh, you know, survey respondents, they don't want the same application and the same functionality just on a new operating system. They want you know, to leverage this change to bring in better applications with a modern and visual interface, right? Uh, they want to migrate from a proprietary single point of view solution to a more uh, broad mobile application. Um, they want to leverage capabilities such as voice, cameras, and OCR technology to bring in more features. Uh, and they want to replace you know, the rugged, non-consumer grade devices to better market standard and, and rugged devices, right? So this is uh, a pretty good indication of what users um, are looking for uh, as they're moving towards, you know, these Android and iOS devices in the future. So what does uh, SAP have to offer in this space? Because, you know, in, in today's webinar, we're, we're focused on the SAP warehouse management and uh, the SAP materials management um, use cases primarily, right? Um, so SAP's offerings are the SAP console, the web console for SAP, ITS mobile, and SAP Fiori. Um, so if you talk to, you know, your experts, um, they're going to recommend, you know, one of these solutions, right? Uh, what are some of the, you know, key challenges um, of these solutions? Um, you know, something like an SAP Fiori solution does not give you out-of-the-box offline capability. Um, there's limited out-of-the-box transactions, limited out-of-the-box functionality. In fact, you know, a few of these solutions only offer transactions that are limited to logistics execution in SAP. There are significant screen and UI limitations. If you look at that screen on the left, that's the SAP RF menu, you know, a lot of, um, as, you know, enterprises are, are using today. Uh, there's not much you can do with those screens and, and that user interface. Um, the native support for printing and barcoding, um, of, print, of printing of barcodes is limited. Um, if you see, you know, the traditional printers, again, are tethered to your desktops, and these are large printers. Uh, but consumers want to use the portable devices that are now connected, you know, to mobile devices using, let's say, Bluetooth technology to be quick and portable um, when you're printing barcodes. Um, and overall, you know, all this technology from SAP, it comes with a high development effort and a high development cost and enterprises want more agility and, you know, they want to be quick to market. So they're trying to avoid um, these, uh, you know, this, this high cost. So now let's look at, um, you know, where Innovative fits into this landscape and, and what do we bring to the table, right? Uh, about Innovative, um, we're a provider of connected workforce solutions for asset intensive industries. Uh, we specialize uh, in the area of supply chain management and, and warehouse management and uh, enterprise asset management or plant maintenance, right? Uh, we are a total solution provider. So 
So we provide the software that integrates seamlessly to your SAP system, and it is SAP certified for ECC as well as S4 HANA. So we provide the software, we provide the, uh, the hardware and the integration to um, the hardware, um, and these are hardware that's that hardware pieces that are made by you know the key manufacturers, right? Like I mentioned, Honeywell, Zebra, and Cognex. Um, and then we also provide the implementation and the integration services to provide to provide an end-to-end -end solution offering, right? Um, one thing that makes us very unique is our offering of a highly configurable solution set. We offer a technology called RACE, which stands for Rapid App Configurator Engine. It provides a low-code to a no-code approach to be able to configure and customize these applications. And at the end of the day, all of our solutions work on mobile and, and rugged devices in connected or disconnected mode, offering cross-platform capability across iOS, Android devices with a simple role-based user experience that is going to drive end-user adoption, which is a critical component um, of success when you build and roll out um, any enterprise application. Right? So let's look specifically at the M inventory application and what the business process coverage is uh, from a warehouse point of view. Well, it supports all your inbound transactions, which includes goods receipts, barcode printing, cross-docking, serialization, and batch management. Uh, all of your warehouse transactions within your four walls or in a yard um, within your warehouse, including putaways, bin-to-bin -bin transfers, or any kinds of transfers, cycle counting, picking, kitting and staging, and preservation. Um, and when it comes to moving goods out of the warehouse, we're looking at all the transactions like deliveries, goods issues, containerization, customs, uh, and returns processing, right? Specific to oil and gas and upstream oil and gas, uh, InnoAptive is one of the only solutions in the market that offers an out-of-the-box solution for remote logistics management, which is part of the IS oil and gas, the industry solution for oil and gas in SAP. So that includes containerization, container offloading, goods receiving on remote logistics management, and all of the connected transactions uh, to manage um, shipping as well as receipt and management of uh, uh, your stock on offshore platforms. Right. So to summarize, the M inventory is you know, uh, an SAP certified out-of-the-box solution for uh, mobile barcoding that works connected and, uh, and or disconnected, that is online or offline, integrated with rugged scanners and printers, ability to manage inventory at warehouses, in storerooms, manage shipments, or in the field, um, with, with a lot of the key transactions built out-of-the-box, and SAP integration to MM, WM, and EWM, which works on ECC and S4 HANA. Um, and looking a little deeper into the RFID and the barcode scanning capabilities, right? Um, so this could be barcode scans that work on integrated peripherals from manufacturers like Zebra and Honeywell or Cognex. This could be rugged or consumer-grade vehicle-mounted tablets or VMTs um, that could be mounted on forklifts or on trucks um, that integrate to Bluetooth scanners that you see on the right um, from the likes of Honeywell and, and Socket Mobile that can seamlessly connect to uh, consumer-based uh, smartphones or tablets um, through uh, run-of-the-mill Bluetooth technology. Um, and we're doing the same thing when it comes to printing technology as well. We're leveraging Bluetooth printing technology to enable printing on these pocketable devices. Th these are small printers that are either a 2-inch or a 4-inch form factor that your warehouse operators can carry on their belt clips and print directly from their mobile device. Um, so the Honeywell RP series and the Zebra ZQ500 series are very good examples um, of 
hardware print or printers that support um, you know out of the box printing functionality from the M inventory solution. So now let's uh, step into a brief uh, demo of the solution set. Um, let's look at a few transactions that are out of the box on M inventory. Um, so we'll look at goods receiving. So here you could. Um, provide a variety of options for your users of all the SAP document types uh, where you can now barcode scanning technology. Here I'm using the camera to scan a packing slip barcode, scanning the PO number uh, or the purchase order number. I'm bringing in all of my purchase order details. All of the fields that you see here are straight from SAP and you can configure the fields for display and entry. Um, I can leverage OCR technology for data capture. So I'm using the camera to read a piece of text on my packing slip and I'm entering that text on there. I can also use my camera technology to capture the picture of a packing slip and then store this packing slip electronically onto my um, goods received document that is posted into SAP and integrated with SAP DMS in real time. Here I can scroll through the different line items within the PO Again, capture OCR, feed that data into uh, the document for posting. I can review all of my um, entries and then I can save this into SAP and post the transaction to SAP in real time. Right? So this runs all of the validations in SAP uh, as well as updo uploads uh, the transaction and posts the document in, in real time and also enables barcode label printing after the goods receipt, right? So the transaction was captured on the mobile device and posted in SAP. Let's see what the document looks like um, in SAP. So I'm gonna pull up the purchase order, um, you know, using the standard SAP screens um, and open up the last materials document which was posted as part of this goods receipt. So you'll see the document being posted, the data captured, including the batch number, um, the quantity, and all the required fields that I need are entered um, into this document. And it's, it's posted, you know, in real time from the user in the field. The integrity of the document in terms of the time of posting, uh, the user that posted it is also captured from SAP pretty seamlessly. Right? So that gives, that maintains the data integrity in SAP as these transactions are posted. Uh, next, let's look at real-time stock updates in SAP or a material lookup um, in SAP um, and what that looks like on the handheld. Right? So I'm going to scan a material barcode and have access to the real-time stock position of a particular material that I scan. I can view the stock across multiple plants. I can select a plant and view all of the storage locations where I have this stock. Um, I can look at the batch details of where I have booked um, stock. And within the batch, I can even break down to the stock types, right? So I can view the different stock types that are being managed and view all of the uh, uh, values or the availability within those individual stock types. So a lot of granularity and easy to get to for the end user. Now let's look at an outbound transaction, uh, a simple goods issue to a work order and see what that looks like here. Right? Um, so this supports all your SAP document types, whether you're doing outbound transactions on MRO, raw materials, or finished goods. Here I'm going to go scan a work order barcode, enter the work order uh, into my screen and pull up uh, the items that are, being, that are planned and requested on that work order. Um, so again, all fields can be configured. Um, so I'm going to select the items that I'm going to issue out on this work order and capture a di digital signature from my maintenance technician as a proof of delivery or a proof of uh, pickup. Right? So again, that information is going to get passed down to SAP. Again, real-time validation and posting. Um, and then once my goods issue is posted in real-time, I have the ability to 
print out the document or print, print out a packing slip and attach that to the, um, to the SAP document in real time um, immediately, right? Um, so now let's look at how this is being used in a real life situation in the field. Uh, so we'll look at an upstream oil customer, HES, that have been using the solution uh, for, a, for a while now. And in terms of the benefits that they have realized, uh, a 75% reduction in process time for goods received. Right, the simplicity and the ease of use is accelerating data feed into SAP, right? And not only the, it's, it's the speed of data, it's also the accuracy of data that's being captured by users in the field, right? A 25%, a significant decrease in the time it's taking to do cycle counts. What that means is improved inventory accuracy because you're able to count and reconcile inventory faster in your warehouses, and a 100% elimination of all paper-based processes. No more scanning of packing slips and uploading them to SAP or storing them in your storage cabinets or your filing cabinets, right? Um, and this, is, this enables a real-time um, match with the physical inventory movement of, of uh, goods to what's reflected in SAP. Right. Um, the same thing looking at a manufacturing and distribution cost, uh, client like Johns Manville uh, who, who are into manufacturing of uh, housing materials. Um, again, a complete, a big elimination of transactional errors, reduction in cycle time when it comes to uh, performing your inventory counts, reduction in time spent in the back office and offline usage, rapid synchronization, and flexibility to configure the application and provide new functionality to the business users, right? So those are, you know, a couple of use cases. We do have more stories that we can, you know, we're happy to talk to you about and show you, you know, what, what is possible um, through the M Inventory solution, right? So key takeaways, right? Um, you don't have to stick with lengthy cycles when it comes to um, implementing such a solution. The M inventory solution can be implemented in about 10 weeks. Um, you don't need, uh, you know, a deep investment on development. It's easy to scale with uh, a pay-as-you-go subscription model. Uh, you don't have to support multiple platforms as an IT organization. We provide out-of-the-box coverage on support for iOS, Android, Windows, um, or web. Uh, and you don't have to worry about broken compatibility because now with moving to a more user-friendly platform, you get a partner um, in Innovative that can support you for uh, the long haul. So all in all, you know, provide um, an out-of-the-box, simple-to-use solution that can be implemented fast and can be um, integrated in an agile way into your enterprise application stack, right? Um, so we're giving you a takeaway uh, as, as a thank you for being part of this webinar. The M Inventory solution is available to download on the uh, iOS store as well as the Google Play Store. So you can, you know, take your, your smartphone or tablet um, and navigate to the app stores and, and download the application. We have um, a demo mode where you can try out uh, the application and what the user experience would be to uh, your warehouse users, right? Um, with that, um, we're at the end of uh, the webinar. I think we have a couple minutes left. Um, so we'll switch to a Q&A and, and let's take a couple questions. Um, even though we might not have uh, time for all of your questions, we'll definitely follow up with uh, an email response um, to, to your questions. Yeah, with that, uh, let's let's look at what questions we have today, Ashley. Uh, thanks, Sheree. So here's a question um, for you: Does your solution work with SAP MM and IM, or do you need WM or w or EWM activated? That's that's a great question, and we get that a lot. Um, so the solution is it works very seamlessly with the uh, SAP Materials Management, the MM or the IM modules. Um, and if, if that's what you're running, we're plug and play into MM and IM. 
you do not need warehouse management or extended man warehouse management turned on to use barcoding. Um, if you do have it, no worries. We integrate with that as well, but that is not a core requirement. So having warehouse management or extended warehouse management turned on is not a core requirement to use mobile barcoding uh, within a wrap tube. Great. Um, here's another one. Are there any special interfaces that need to be built for the solution to work? Uh, no. Um, we provide a, an end-to-end -end application. So we provide the out-of-the-box SAP integration into all your core transactions, whether it's SAP ECC version 6.0 or S4 HANA, uh, any version after your, your 16.10 release, right? Uh, so we provide the integration and it is SAP certified. So we keep up with SAP's upgrade path and manage all the changes. Um, so our, our clients do not have to develop the, the integration uh, to, their, to their SAP system. Great. And with that, today's webinar came to an end. Thank you so much for joining us today.